Hello dear students, this is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 9 further on trigonometric functions. This chapter is designed for natural science students only. So today we are going to see uh, this one, uh, the graph of f of x is equal to a sine uh, kx plus p plus some constant c. And we try to solve some trigonometric equations. So, after rewriting this, you are expected to draw the graph of f of x equals to a sine kx plus p plus c form and solve some trigonometric equations. So, let's continue. Graph of f of x is equal to a sine kx plus p plus c. To draw the graph of f of x is equal to a sine kx plus b plus c, rewrite the function first in this form. Rewrite the function, this function, f of x is equal to a sine kx plus b plus c in this form, a sine. Factor k here, when you factor k, you will have x plus b over k plus c. We need to rewrite the function in this form. And then, uh, we apply shifting method to draw this graph. So, the graph of f of x equals to a sine k into x, x plus b over k plus c can be obtained from the graph of this one from f of x is equals to a sine kx a sine kx by shifting c units from this graph upward or downward depending on the sign c if c is positive you shift the graph this c units up or if c is negative you shift this graph downward not only this one in addition to that you shift b over k units for this part you shift b over k units in the horizontal direction if b over k is negative, you shift to the right. If b over k is positive, you shift this to the left. Therefore, you shift the graph b over k unit in the horizontal direction. If uh, b over k is positive, in that case, you shift to the left. If b over k less than zero, you shift to the right. So simply, you can draw the graph of this expression from f of x is equal to a sine kx how by shifting first you shift c unit down or up depending on the sign and then you shift b over k unit left or right depending on sign of b over k if it's negative you shift to the right positive shift to the left so let's see uh, example for this before example the period of f of x equal to a sine k into x plus b over k plus c will be uh, similar to this one. The period of a sine kx and a sine k into x plus b over k plus c is this 2 pi over k. Its period is 2 pi over k. Simply, you divide 2 pi by this coefficient, by this coefficient. And the range of a sine k into x plus b over k plus c is its range minus amplitude plus since you shift c units up so you add c on the amplitude okay 
minus a plus c comma the other part positive absolute value of a plus c therefore the range of fx uh, a sin k into x plus p over k plus c is on this interval it is negative absolute value of the amplitude plus c uh, comma amplitude plus c so let's see example for this okay example uh, draw the graph of f of x equals to 3 sine 2x minus pi over 3 minus 2. So we are asked to draw the graph of this first. Let's determine the amplitude in the period of this expression. Uh, first, what you do is we need to write this, this expression in other form. We have this y is equal to 3 sine 2x minus pi over 3 minus 2 and factor these two, the coefficient of x. So you'll have this one. 3 sine, when you take 2 outside, you have x here, minus, you divide this by 2, you get power 6 minus 2. So this is it. From this, you can see that the amplitude of this function is this, uh, this 3, this amplitude is 3. And it's period 2 pi over k. 2 pi, k is this, this coefficient, therefore the period is this, 2 pi over k is 2, 2 pi over 2 is pi. And this range is, this c is negative 2 here. So you have this one, negative 3 plus c, it is minus 2 comma, positive 3 plus c is minus 2. So the range of this function varies from uh, negative 5 up to 1. So now let's try to draw the graph of uh, this expression. We have this one. Uh, so to draw the graph, simply apply shifting rule. First draw the graph of y is equal to y is equal to 3 sine 2x. So the graph of sine uh, 3 sine 2x is amplitude is 3 and you will have this graph for uh, f of x is equal to 3 sine 2x and then you shift this graph 2 units down and then pi over 6 units to the right we have this one we shift the graph by pi over 6 units to the right and 2 units down. So this peak move down to just you shift 3 and subtract 2 you'll have the peak will move down by 2 units. Uh, so here also this, this peak moves down from minus 3 to minus 5, 2 units, minus 5. Not only this one, we need to shift horizontally by pi over 6 unit. Therefore, this part is moved to this part by pi over 6, pi over 6 unit. So shifting this peak horizontally by pi over 6 unit, you will have this one and so on. Therefore, by shifting, you will have the graph of f of x is equal to 3 sine 2x minus pi over 3 minus 2 like this so this is it now let's continue to uh, the next part okay the next part is general solution of trigonometric equations uh, to find if you draw the graph of y is equal to sine x and the line y is equal to half on same coordinate system you'll have this one the graph of sine x and the line y is equal to 1 over 2. As you can see, this graph of sine x and y is equal to 1 over 2 cross infinitely many points. Here, their intersection, their intersection, and so on. Since sine function is periodic, you will have so many answers. Therefore, this means that sine x, sine x, is equal to 1 over 2 has so many solutions one solution here another 
and so on, since periodic. So for a certain interval from 0 to 2 pi, from 0 to 2 pi as these two points. These points are pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. So to find the technique uh, of finding solution, we'll proceed. To find the general solution, we have a technique. So we'll proceed to that. These two are the particular solutions for sine x equals to 1 over 2 on this interval from 0 to 2 pi. Uh, but the general solution has infinitely many solutions, so we'll see how to determine the general solution for this expression. Let's continue. So general solutions, look. If we have tan x equals to t, where t is any real number, as you know, the period of tangent function t is pi, it repeats itself after every pi. And if x1 is a particular solution on this range from negative power to power 2, OK, let's see the graph of this uh, tangent function from negative pi over 2 up to pi over 2. The graph has this form. This will be this asymptote. Therefore, for on this range, on this range, uh, if x1 is a particular solution, a particular solution, then the general solution of this tan x will be this x1 plus n pi because this tangent function repeats itself after every pi. So if we have one solution here, we have also another solution on the next period and so on. So uh, general solution of this uh, tan x equals to t is given by uh, x1 plus n pi, x1 plus n pi. Now for cos x is equal to b, uh, if b is less than or equal to 1, the period, you know, the period of cosine function it is 2 pi. And if x1 is a particular solution in this range from negative pi up to pi, then negative x1 is also another particular solution on the same range because you know that cosine is even function. So cos negative x and cos x are the same. So if x1 is a solution for cosine, minus x1 is also a solution. So here, if x1 is a particular solution on this interval from negative pi up to pi minus x1 is so a particular solution. So to find this general solution, you add uh, a multiple of period to find this general solution. Therefore, uh, the general solution will be x1 plus a multiple of this period to n pi and minus x1 plus 2n pi. So for sine function, for sine function, uh, if b is 0, Assume sine x is equal to b for absolute value of b is less than or equal to 1. If b is 0, the solution set it is n pi. The solution set for sine function or sine function will be 0 for a multiple of pi. And if b is equal to 1, then the solution for sine x is equal to 1 will be this uh, pi over 2 plus 2n pi. You can see this graphically, by the way. Uh, if you see this one, we have 0 here, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi. As you can see from this graph, sine function will be 0 at 0 pi, 2 pi, at n pi, at n pi. And uh, if b is equal to 1, means the sine function will have value 1 at pi over 2. At not only at pi over 2, if you have this one, since the uh, sine function period is 2 pi, you can add 2 pi. So the general solution for this will be pi over 2 plus a multiple of 2 pi, that's 2 n pi. Uh, for b is negative 1, b is negative 1 means this part, negative 1. And uh, we need to, to find the particular solution uh, on the interval minus pi over 12 to pi over 2. So from 0 to 2 pi, you can, I can take this. So 
minus pi over 2, we have minus pi over 2 here. For this case, no problem. For uh, f of x or sine x equals to minus 1, sine x will be minus 1 at minus pi over 2. You can see this one. For x minus pi over 2, the value of sine function is minus 1. We have one particular solution, minus pi over 2. So you can add uh, a multiple of 2 pi to find its general solution. So the general solution will be minus pi over 2 plus 2 n pi. But for this interval, sine x equal to b will have uh, two particular solutions on this part from 0 to 2 pi. This is 1 and minus 1. Between this interval, if you cross horizontal line, that horizontal line touches the graph at two point. You will have two particular solutions or the interval 0 to 2 pi if uh, b is uh, between 0 and 1. Uh, absolute value of b is between 0 and 1. So in this case, you have two particular solutions. So one x1 and x2 on this interval. So the general solution will be uh, the particular solutions plus a multiple of uh, 2 pi. So therefore, x1 plus 2 n pi and x2 plus 2 n pi will be the general solution for such uh, expression sine x equals to b. So uh, let's see example for this explanation. Now here we are asked to determine for these expressions. First let's start from a. Sine x is equal to negative 1 over 2. Sine x is equal to negative 1 over 2. On we need first to find uh, two uh, particular solutions uh, on the interval 0 to 2 pi. So sine function be negative on fourth quadrant and third quadrant. Therefore, half is the reference angle will be it is sine 30 gives you half so uh, the corresponding value of 30 on the third and fourth quadrant angle must be calculated or determined. Therefore, for third quadrant angle, we have this, this part means 30 degree means our angle is this one. Therefore, this angle means it is 30 plus 180, 210. So, when you convert 210, one of the angles is 210, one particular solution. 210, to convert this into, into radian, you, you multiply by this. 0 cancels by 0. Uh, by 3, it is 7. By 3, it is 6. 7 pi over 6. And the other particular solution is found on the fourth quadrant. On the fourth quadrant. So, on the fourth quadrant, The reference is this 30 degree. So we are just seeking an angle from 0 to 2 pi. So uh, the other angle will be this one. This angle is 330. 330. Therefore, here this is 330. And we can convert this 330 into radian. You love this is uh, 11 pi over 6. So these two, x1 is equal to 7 pi over 6 and x2 is equal to 11 pi over 6 are particular solutions for sine x equals to negative 1 over 2 on the interval 0 to 2 pi. Therefore, the general solution will be simply it is 7 pi over 6 plus a multiple of 2 pi, comma, 11 pi over 6 plus a multiple of 2 pi, it is 2 n pi. So this will be this, the general solution for sine x is equal to negative 1 over 2. Now, let's see this one. Cos x is equal to root 3 over 2. So, for cos x equal to root 3 over 2, we need to find uh, one particular solution. Uh, so, cos x equal to root 3 over 2.
this special angle cosine uh, takes uh, or this cos inverse of Rousseau over 2 it is uh, 30 degree cos 30 gives you Rousseau over 2 so it is 30 degree we have 30 degree here so if x1 a particular solution minus 30 will also a particular solution for this cosine function therefore the general solution will be this power 6 plus to n pi 30 degree means when you convert into uh, radian it becomes power 6 one of the particular solution is power 6 the other will be this at uh, x2 it is minus power 6 so the general solution will be this uh, power 6 plus 2 n pi comma negative power 6 plus 2 n pi this will be the general solution where n is an integer by the way n is an integer now let's continue tan x is equal to radical 3 tan is square of 3 for this value tan inverse over 3 it is pi over 3 or 60 degree we have one particular solution if you have one particular solution from negative power to to power 2 the general solution will be uh, that particular solution plus n pi since uh, tan is uh, it's a period pi therefore here the general solution for this will be this power 3 plus n pi power 3 plus n pi now let's see this one sine 6x equal to rho 3 over 2. For this side function, I need to find a particular solution. Sine will be rho 3 over 2 on 60 degree. So, as positive, one of particular solution is 60 degree here. Thus, this one particular solution it is 60 when you convert it into radian, this power 3. And the other particular solution, it is on second quadrant, this 160 degree, our angle this one, 120 degree. So when you convert 120 uh, into radian, you will have 2 power 3. So we have two particular solutions, power 3 and 2 pi over 3, 4, 6, 1, not 4, x, 1 now in this case, because you are asked to find sine 6, x. So, the general solution for x1 will be simply pi over 3 plus 2n pi since the period is 2 pi. So, you can add this. And the other will be t6x2 is equal to 2 pi over 3 plus 2n pi. Uh, because in this case, we are not uh, solving for x, simply we are calculating for 6x. So, to find the value of x, you divide by 6. So, and you get this one. So, x1 will be the particular solution x1 will be by dividing this by 6 you get pi over 18 plus 2n pi divided by 6 becomes this n pi over 3 and the other part this one when you divide by uh, uh, 6 you get that uh, pi over 9 plus uh, n pi over 3 so these two are uh, the general solutions for uh, the, this is a given equation therefore the general solution will be it is pi over 18 plus n pi pi over 18 plus n pi this one general solution and this is pi over 9 plus n pi over 3 this will be the general solution for this one okay next we are asked to solve this one 2 cos squared x plus 3 sine x equals to 0 so to solve this we use trigonometric identity cos squared x you know this sine squared x plus cos squared x equals to 1 so cos squared x will be this cos squared x will be this 1 minus sine squared x therefore in place of cos squared x I can put 1 minus sine squared x we have 2 there times in place of cos squared x substitute 1 minus sine squared x plus 3 sine x equals to 0 and then this will be this 2 times 1 2 minus 2 sine squared x plus 3 sine x equal to 0 and uh, you get this one uh, so taking this to the other side this becomes positive this becomes minus and this also minus you'll have this one 
and factorizing this 2 sine x plus 1 times sine x minus 2 is equal to 0. So from this the product of two numbers is 0 means either 2 sine x plus 1 is 0 or sine x minus 2 is 0. So this gives you sine x is equal to minus 1 over 2 in sine x equals to 2. Since sine x cannot be 2, this has no solution. This has no solution. But the particles, we have solved this earlier. The particular solution for sine x equals to minus 1 over 2, it's found on uh, third and fourth quadrant. So third quadrant angle is this, uh, 7 pi over uh, 6, it is 230, that means this one is 330. We have already found earlier. Therefore, these are the particular solutions. The general solution, you can add a multiple of 2 pi on both, since uh, sine is periodic of 2 pi. Therefore, the general solution will be this, 7 pi over 6 plus 20 pi, comma, 11 pi over 6 plus 20 pi. So this is it. To summarize what we have seen today, 1. The function f of x equals to a sine k into x plus b over k plus c is period as it is 2 pi divided by the coefficient k and its range is varies from negative of absolute value of amplitude plus c comma absolute value of amplitude plus c. And if x1 is a particular solution on this range, then the general solution for the tangent function will be x1 plus a multiple of n pi. Uh, if x1 is a particular solution in the range negative pi up to pi, then minus x1 also a particular solution for a cosine function. And the general solution will be this, x1 plus 2n pi minus x1 plus 2n pi. For sine function, it will have two particular solutions, x1 and x2. Uh, so the general solution will be on 0 to pi. It's the general solution will be this x1 plus 2n pi comma x2 plus 2n pi. So this is all about uh, today's lesson. Uh, and then I'll give you uh, exercise. Please try to, to solve this and to draw the graph of this one and read examples on page 371 to 376. In addition to that, please uh, do exercise 9.5, which is found on page 376. So this is all about today's lesson. Until next lecture, goodbye.